Welcome back to the U Sports Report, ladies and gentlemen. We have a special guest joining us here for the college rundown today. This is Javi Alvarado. He's our technical director, so he's making his transition from behind the cameras to in front of the cameras. How do you feel, Javi? It feels good to be out here. It's less pressure. It's a lot of fun. It's really bright right here, but I mean, <laughs> it's nice. You know, it's really nice. A little bit of a different view for you? Yeah, the limelight is bright and shining, but uh, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. We're going to have fun. We're it's hot out here. here. That's yeah, for it's sure. definitely. So <laughs> Javi is our, uh, our baseball expert here. We're going to bring yeah. him on to talk College World Series. Mm -hmm. As we're down to the final eight, we're finally out in Omaha. Let's yeah. go ahead and take a look at the brackets as the Florida Gators are the number one overall seed left remaining, as you see there in bracket two, alongside Texas Tech, Texas Christian, and Coastal Carolina. The top bracket consists of Miami, Florida, Oklahoma State, UC Santa Barbara, and Arizona. Of course, UC Santa Barbara, as we covered on Tuesday's episode, got here by way of a walk-off Grand Slam from freshman Sam Cohen. So looking to continue that Cinderella run are Coastal Carolina. However, I think the Florida Gators and Miami Hurricanes will have something to say about that. Kimberly, who do you think will come out on top here? You know, um, I'm kind of disappointed. Coastal Carolina made a sweep on LSU. Obviously, I'm an LSU fan, but I think that they've made a really strong effort in the season. I think it's going to be a really great matchup for these top eight teams, but I'm really interested to see Florida. Florida, Javi? Uh, I have to go with Texas Tech only because they beat UNM and it was a close battle and I have a lot of respect for UNM so therefore I have a lot of respect for Texas Tech and since they took out our Lobos I'm just going to go ahead and go with Texas Tech. See that's a good sportsman attitude right there. Yeah, I'm like, like I don't that. want the team that beat me to win so but Javi's got yeah. a good attitude. Well I mean if, if that team <laughs> does win then you mm -hmm. can say you know we lost to the eventual winners. Yeah. That's a trip. True. So there's Fair always enough. that. Fair mm -hmm. All right. So uh, my pick, I, I probably <laughs> yeah. have to go with the Florida Gators. They are the number one overall seed for a reason. They beat Florida State to get out here to Omaha. Florida State actually took game one of that series. So Florida had to show a lot of resiliency mm -hmm. in winning those second two games to come back and make it to Omaha and live up to that number one seed. Definitely. And like I said, I'm interested to see how they play. And, you know, they've made a lot of effort this season mm -hmm. to get to the number one seed. So it's going to be a really great opportunity for them. So we've given our favorites. Who do you have as your sleeper? Oh, man, uh, Miami, I think, is going to be a sleeper pick. They've got a lot of strength on their roster, but they're going to have to kind of step it up. Javi said they've got Texas Tech in the same top eight as them. They've got Florida. There's some really interesting teams in the top eight this year, so I think Miami's really going to have to prove themselves. Sleeper pick, Javi? You know, Miami's good, and I was going to go with Miami, but <laughs> I'm going to go with Arizona. Arizona, wow. Arizona Wildcats, yeah. I saw them uh, personally earlier in the season, and they were just super impressive. They were really good. So Arizona, uh, I got to go with Coastal Carolina. I, I don't even know where the school is located, clearly somewhere on the coast of Carolina. <laughs> but I'm taking Coastal Carolina, beating LSU, sweeping LSU. Yeah, yeah. That's no small feat. Uh, oh, LSU right. is always a very good baseball school. So I like Coastal Carolina perhaps you know, there's a little dark horse in there. Now, moving along, you, got, you were just talking about Miami. We have this clip to show you from Miami and Boston College. Now, this here is Edgar Michelangeli. He hits a bomb, guys. This is a grand slam, and he clearly very excited. The Canes players are excited. This widens the lead on Boston College. Here you see the Boston College uh, catcher sharing some words, Michelangeli taunting him in his face. Now, this is going to uh, start a benches clearing sort of brawl, not necessarily a brawl. No punches were thrown. We do see this in baseball fairly often, you know, with the benches clearing. Now, we'll show you why here in just a second. Angeli with a monster bat flip. As you see, these guys are still being separated. Uh, and here we go. Look at this. He admires the shot. And that right there, the unwritten rules of baseball, you never watch your home run go over the fence. Never flip your bat like that. But I got to say, guys, I'll give him 10 out of 10 on the execution for this showboat. Yeah, you know, he looks real confident in that hit. He looked really impressed with himself, and his yeah. entire team was pretty happy about it. So yeah. he did break the unwritten rules, but at least it was for a good reason. Yeah, I mean, there's unwritten rules in baseball, and, and that is pretty much like a middle finger to the pitcher. And you don't want to do that. It'll just start problems. If this was the MLB, 
it would have probably there would probably would have been blow, blows thrown at that point. Oh sure, yeah, of course. for sure. And yeah. this isn't even Michelangelo's first time flipping his bat. Earlier this year against NC State in the in the uh, ACC tournament, mm -hmm. he did a monster bat flip. That one made uh, viral news on on the internet uh, <laughs> after he hit that game-winning three-run homer. So this guy, he reminds me sort of uh, Alex Rodriguez. You know, with that, oh, yeah. uh, the persona that he yeah. has that he projects, you know, that kind of like he knows he's the best. And whether you like it or not, he's going to show it off. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if his name wasn't already a household name, it definitely is yeah. now. A-Rod yeah. is known for being cocky, so being modeled after that same characteristic, he's mm -hmm. got a bright future ahead of him of some impressive plays. Now, yeah, totally. uh, Javi, how do you feel about the unwritten rules of baseball? You know, don't walk across the pitcher's mound. Yeah. Don't admire your, your home runs. Yeah. Don't bunt to end a perfect game or a no-hitter. How yeah. do you feel about those? I mean, it's okay to have fun while you're playing your sport that you love, but it's an, you don't ever want to upstage the pitcher or, or you don't ever want to disrespect the other team. So I feel, I feel like just go about your business, have fun, but if you really have a problem with it, if you really, really have a problem with it, don't let them hit a home run off you. Don't throw a good pitch. Don't leave it in the sweet zone. If you really have a problem with it, don't let them succeed off you. You know what I mean? And, and that kind of reminds me of uh, you know, the NFL season last year yeah. when teams were getting mad that Cam Newton was dabbing yeah. after exactly. he was scoring touchdowns. Yeah. And you know, Cam said, if you don't want me to dab, then don't let me score. Yeah. Which I think is all fair in sports. It really is. In any sport, if you, if you get upset that somebody's celebrating, mm -hmm. don't give them a reason to celebrate. Definitely shut them down. And in this situation, there's a little bit more disrespect to it than just celebration. Yeah. And it's, it's a factor, but they're still young and they're in college. It's, the ki it's kind of the right time for them to celebrate and be a little cocky because they're not in the majors yet. And they're not in any big brawls or anything. Mm -hmm. And they're definitely working really hard to get into Omaha. It's an interesting reason to celebrate. I don't yeah. even think it was the bat flip and him watching the home run. I think it was when he was coming across the plate and the catcher mm -hmm. was right there. You know, he's walking by and pounding his chest. Yeah. I think that's really that's what really incited going overboard, the bench is clearing. Sure. That was just a little bit overboard. That's as way you said. overboard. Yeah, it's yeah. just way too much. You just—it's one thing to admire your shot. You know, you just watch your home run go out. If if that, you just watch it go out, run around the bases, and once you get to the dugout, you can have as much celebration as you like. You know, just don't bring it. Out in the field for everybody to see. You yeah, know? yeah, definitely. I think it makes fans, parents, family, everybody a little bit frustrated. But hey, props to the kid. It was a great home run. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he he got all of that one, and yeah. especially for it to oh, be yeah. a grand slam uh, to send your team, you know, virtually to the College World Series. The game was long over by then. It just widened their lead on Boston College. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, I I gotta say, I kind of feel like Boston College was being a little bit of a baby cries in that situation. Yeah, that's how I feel too. too. You know, they yeah, were, yeah. You, you, can't, you can't be weak about it. You know, somebody hits a grand slam, they're already in the lead, they're mm -hmm. already beating you. You kind of at that point know, we're not going to Omaha, this team's really working for it, mm -hmm. and they're definitely going to go into Omaha in the top eight, and they're going to show themselves. I don't know, I think Boston will celebrate if Miami ever loses in this Omaha matchup, yeah. but Boston was being a little bit crybaby about it. It was, uh, <laughs> you know, it was an unfortunate <laughs> event, we'll say. Yeah. You know, for, to see the benches clearing. Thankfully, no punches were exchanged, mm -hmm. no suspensions were handed down, so uh, Miami will be at full strength going into Omaha. It uh, seems like that's all we got for you here on the College Rundown, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. We got more of the U Sports Report coming up next.